Hey everybody, it's Future Inventions here, and I just wanted to show you uh, a really cool software that I found out about. So, it is called um, Corel Video Studio Express, I believe, 2010. So, um, my friend told me about Corel, Corel, I don't know how to pronounce it, but, um, they told me about that. They got the pro version. I didn't really feel the need for the pro version, so I got the trial uh, of the express version just to check it out and see if it's great. So, um, uh, let's go over here. Here it is. The, whoops, what's going on here? Here it is. This is pretty much what it looks like. You get here and you have um, a nice. Uh, way to access all of the pictures and videos in your library so um, I'm going to go to my videos and uh, you have a bunch of different folders from all kinds of dates so um, it tells you how many folders you have in there right up here right up here and you know it's great so let's actually zoom in here wherever my zoomy thing went <laughs> I keep calling it that, it's so weird. So, um, you see you have your folders here, and over here for library you have, um, uh, videos, folders, my stuff, you can make albums, and it also has all of your projects. So, uh, these are some of my projects. They're Windows 7 reviews, I just started using it then. And you can actually see into my desktop or whatever window is behind so that's really cool and then you, you can also throw something into your recycle bin you have nothing down here uh, man I'm zoomed in and then uh, you can also resize uh, all the icons so here I made it huge and now I'll go over here and do it again and now it's really really small so uh, you have the regular everything and then uh, help so it's a very basic nice interface and then you can go back to show all of the thumbnails uh, in your folders so it's a very nice interface you can arrange it by different uh, things so up here you have what I would call maybe a task pane whoops I'm zooming I want to zoom out Okay, so anyway, um, you have what I would call a task pane here. So you have import, and if we can get down here, whoops. Uh, we have to zoom out a little more. So there we go. You have import here, and you have a bunch of different ways to import it. Actually, we're going to move this over here a little bit. So import, uh, import okay so this isn't working that well so um here for import there we go oh you can import something into the software from your computer from a disk in your uh, disk drive from a camera or a memory card uh, I use that for my uh, this camera right here um, also you can import from mobile phone a webcam you can capture it live uh, from a tuner card, uh, from a camcorder with a tape, or a camcorder with memory disk, and also from other devices. So, um, importing is very easy. You just click on it, and you highlight the things that you want to import, and then you just click import, and you can see these little um, checks tell you uh, if you can import it from there, or if it's connected. So, um, they also tell you, um, if you've selected something, too. So, I really like that kind of design. Also, here you have Create. You can make a movie. I'll get to that. You have Print. And you can, uh, print a disc label or, uh, photos. Um, I've never printed a disc label. I'm sure it's pretty good, but it's a pretty good, um, interface or anything but I haven't really used it I don't have any need for it but if you want to get the free trial then it's really cool 
and you can check that out if you want that kind of feature on your software so then you have share you can upload to YouTube unfortunately not in HD you can email something you can save uh, as something as a video file um, share it on Facebook or upload photos to Twitter now we're going to go into create which is the main reason why I really love this software and that's it's really easy and very fast to do this so um we're going to zoom out here because we have a bunch of stuff going on you can see um, here we have a preview of uh, something and down here I know you can't see it that well but we have a bunch of different uh, designs for uh, how the video is going to be edited so um, you have a bunch of different templates they would probably call you would call it so um, it's really cool that they have that it's really nice and they really look great this one's like a book sort of and this one's supposed to look sort of babyish and cute so uh, it's really cool they have a bunch of different things and then if you go over here this this tab is fun and then you can also go to the simple tab you can have a title in um, a title in uh, bl black in the background and white in the front or you can have a background with white in the background and black you know as the title that's the opposite of this and then you can just have um, one with uh, just like uh, effects transitions you would call it and um, then one without any transitions or anything now let's zoom in a little bit here here you just name your movie we're going to name this example then you uh, tell what format it is 4 by 3 or 9 by 16 by 9 I'm sorry and then you can make it HD they have less templates for HD though which um, which uh, isn't that great and of course you have the little playback monitor and you can select photos and videos for your project so I'm going to go up here uh, into they don't have a video okay here we go here's the videos folder so I'm going to just select uh, this video here which was my uh, review here so you just click on this to uh, select it and when you select it it will go down into into uh, here into sort of like this bar at the bottom so then you can go to the movie once it's done, once you're done picking out all of your media, and it takes a few seconds. It does take a little while to load, but it's not too bad. So then you can just go in here. Um, so here you have um, a little playback of your movie here. Ooh, we gotta finish this up. So here you have a playback of your movie. You can uh, change the style again here then you can add titles and the titles are really nice you just um whoops uh, i'm doing the wrong thing <laughs> i want to zoom here so in the titles you just pick any title you click add and it will go um on this on this uh thing so when you click play when it plays it it will go past these frames just like that and it's sort of confusing with the two different movements but you'll get used to it and if we go back there then we can just go whoops where are we we can go on screen and we can uh, select this and then just edit it and change the text color and size and everything which is cool so we're running out of time here guys uh, let me zoom out so you can add soundtrack uh, and you can do a voiceover by recording right now then you just click output and you can also save your project 
And also, something I forgot to mention, oh my god, really quick, um, if you go to media, you just double click this, and you can edit this, you, looks like this video is gonna be, uh, two parts, so, um, you can splice it, you can, uh, you can split it, you can add, uh, a, you can take a snapshot of it, and you have a bunch of different tools over here on this sidebar, so, uh, we're really out of time now. So then you just click uh, output video when you're done editing it and making it look awesome. And then you can just save it and upload it and burn it to a disc and everything. So that's really cool. So guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Check this out. It's only 40 bucks. And there's a 30-day trial version. So, peace.